Lane. Uh, again, as I said, 
every time I interact with a, the director of a Chinese museum, uh, I always feel I should do more. Okay? And they are giving so much. Uh, all I can do is just write a book. Okay? Uh, our, another individual I want to thank here is uh, Dr. Jiang uh, Rizano. Okay? She is an uh, excellent Chinese uh, sinologist. I think you are familiar with him. But a lot of his work, probably not everyone knew. I knew he wrote an article about the China Town, about the Chinese language, the diversity of the Chinese language used in Chicago. <coughs> and which article kind of inspired me. And along with that, I also want to say that uh, uh, a number of the great works before me, for example, uh, maybe let me try to do it uh, uh, in a chronological order. Uh, the first uh, academic work I saw was a uh, uh, dissertation by uh, 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 dissertation by Kim, uh, Kim Chu Fan. I don't know anyone know Kim Chu Fan or know uh, know of his work. He wrote a uh, master's thesis or PhD dissertation. I'm not sure because some source cited as dissertation, some as master's thesis. But anyway, his work has been cited in uh, all the works about Chicago. So if you're interested in that, you can read that work. And I got a photo copies, but I'm sure you can find it. It was uh, uh, public, I mean, completed in 1926, but I think there's a printed copy by uh, Chinese Historical Museum in San Francisco. So that's a very useful source. Uh, another one uh, published <coughs> in 1987, but the work was done in 1953 by Pao C.P. Su. I, I guess you must know him. His Chinese name is Xiao Chenpeng, but he's known as Pao Su. I never met him, but my book is dedicated to him because his work inspired me and I also utilized a lot of his field work, the information which was not included in, in his book, which published in 1987. Uh, then, uh, another work which was published in 1978. Susan, Susan, right? Susan, Susan, Susan yeah. I've never had the opportunity to meet you, but I know your name, you know, I've read your uh, your master's thesis, you know, I studied many years ago. So those are the sources I consulted uh, frequently. And the more recent work, uh, I, if you're interested in that, in my, my book, chapter six, okay, I trace uh, the representative works on Chicago from multiple disciplines. I may have left out a lot, you know, I know the his, historical writing or any scholarly work is dynamic. Territory, right? So you have your book out today, but tomorrow somebody will have their book. Okay? So it can be outdated very soon, and I'm sure I must have left out a lot of things, or I may have misrecorded or misrepresented. So I want to ask your forgiveness. Please correct me, contact me. You have my email here. Uh, this is my not my first book, but it's not my last book either. So I'm still working on Chicago. Okay, I have a new project. So I welcome any uh, desire or willingness uh, of collaboration. Okay, we can work on any project on Chinese in Chicago or Asian Americans in Chicago or ethnic Americans in Chicago. Because Chicago is such a wonderful <coughs> city. We have so much to write about. Um, I think... Uh, <coughs> I, I'm not going to go, uh, keep going on this uh, thank you list. I have a very long list here. <laughs> because so many I want to thank. But, I, but I'm sure you can get in the acknowledgement part of the book. But even that, I'm sure, is incomplete. Because there are many people I may have used their work or their work inspired me. And a lot of people who contributed their information, shared their life experience with me, 
I may have outlawed, you know, uh, left them out. And please correct me and forgive me. Uh, we are going to And I also want to tell you, I'm here not, is not just a lecture. I feel I'm also a student. I'm still learning Chinese in Chicago. I'm eager to share, to learn from everyone. I was especially excited that um, uh, Margie Lin Wei is here. Just a few days ago, I got an email from Suno uh, that was uh, CC to, to her also. And I learned that this is a Descendant, direct descendant of one of the three Moy brothers. I was so excited. Uh, and they also shared the Moy family tree with me. I have it, but I don't want to put it here because I haven't got permission from Mars. But if you're interested in that, in, in my book, there's, a, I think, a quite elaborate narration about the Moy brothers. Uh, Dr. Um, uh, uh, Dr. Chen Wei, Jack Chen, uh, some of you may know his name is Jack. Uh, last name is T C H E N, who wrote Chinatown before New York before Chinatown. And actually, he was the one who directed Paul's book, Chinese Laundry Man, and helped it to become a publication, make it available to the public. Uh, so um, what I was trying to say, yeah, Dr. Chen said this is a book I have seen the most. Uh, complete detailed information about the Moy brothers and the early time. Uh, so I hope I've done this some justice of the community. Okay, let me put uh, one of Okay. We always like to, uh, both Chinese or American like to say, Confucius says, Confucius says this, Confucius says that, right? So we always like to quote some sages or some celebrities' <laughs> words to prove or point. Okay. So Confucius says, before one takes thousand mile journey, one must ask why, right? Why are you going to take the thousand miles? Is it worth doing that? You know, taking this long way. So I have been asked many people, by many people, why do you study Chinese in Chicago? Okay. And that's, that's a question asked to me for every of my book. And I'd like to um, start by quoting this uh, very famous song, Chicago. I think many of you probably know in your brain you're already playing the tune. I'm going to learn from Suma. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to read the lyric. Okay? I can give you some time to prepare. You sing. <laughs> and each time I room, Chicago is calling me home. Chicago is one town that won't let you down. It's my kind of town. It was sung by Frank Sinatra okay, and many other people. But his version was the most famous, the most popular one. And also the lyric also varies from person to person, from singer to singer. So this one I got permission, which I didn't believe I could. And that's in the book, first chapter. Even my publisher gave up. Okay, I have, in, have it included in the manuscript. But the actor at the Stanford University said, uh, hoping maybe we have to give up this uh, song. But I don't want to, because this is so catchy. It's like I had it in the St. Louis book. I have this, uh, come to St. Louis, I come to St. Louis. Uh, so that song really um, captured the spirit of that city. And I feel China uh, here, this Chicago, the song, really addressed the the uniqueness of Chicago. So Chicago is a city